Jonathan Hughes. I play the organ. I'm from Rebecca. I um, am 21 years old and I'm currently in my third year of study BMAS at, at Rhodes. Yeah. <laughs> I started playing the organ in 2018. Um, it, it, you know, it was kind of a natural progression. I, my, my father played the organ in the church while I was growing up, and so, you know, it was something that I always helps with a great sense of nostalgia. And then, um, you know, like there's, there's a story of my, um, my, 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 my parents tell of how I loved the composers. I would sit and draw little pictures of the composers, like his Bach and his Handel, and I'd have like a whole little binder of these little pictures. The organ's kind of associated with creepy things in pop culture, isn't it? In May last year, um, I was practicing during a storm and lightning struck the church. The organ has a lot of electrical components, so because the organ was on, they fried. I do think that there's a, a lot of misunderstanding around the organ. I, I, I think that, that people have this image of like this creepy thing that that Dracula plays in his house from like this kind of instrument. They're very, they're actually worlds apart. In the 18th century, for instance, this was the most complicated thing you've been ever built, was the pipe organ. So, um, you know, it's like before the steam engine, this was high tech. And for it to kind of still have relevance in today's society, it needs to play on that. And you need to appreciate the, the fact that it, it, you know, it's a big, it's a, it plays a big role in, in, in Western, in, in Western art music and in like Western society, this, this machine. You've also got a lot more versatility in the kinds of sounds you can make, you know, before synthesizers of the 50s, um, this was the synthesizer of the, the times before, so you know, it was like your your orchestra in one place. Personally, it's, it, I find it very fulfilling. 